everyone welcome back to my channel it's theoni with thrifty divas and i'm here continuing on with a huge collective thrift store haul if you missed part one and you like these sorts of videos make sure to go check that out i will link it down below for you in the description box of this video now as i was gathering up the rest of my purchases i may have misjudged my time in the first one and this might be too long may also require a third not sure but we'll find out together as in the first one that i just filmed if you are local i will tell you where the purchases are from as we grab and go and some are for personal use some are for resale and i'll tell you that as we go on so let's get started the first thing i will show you in this video is from the house portion of the barn. I believe I paid three, maybe four dollars for these boots. I thought they were super cute and they are the highest ones I own. So three or four dollars for those and uh, those are mine. Next, I believe this bag is going to be from Mather if you're local. So I got this for $2.50 and it is a I saw the year somewhere, 1986, red, I want to say it in Greek, Galliope, crib blanket. And that is for resale because I love vintage things and I like having them for people to get. So I got that still at Mather. I think she might have charged me a dollar for both of these or maybe even 25 cents each. I'm not sure. This is Treasures by Shabby Chic. They are from 2012 and something told me to look them up while I was there and um, they actually have a pretty good good resale. So those are for resale. Yeah. Then these were 15 cents each. I got myself some vintage wooden handle fondue forks. Uh, my mom keeps saying we need to get another old fondue pot like the enameled ones from the 70s. How many we've had over the years from thrift stores and have gotten rid of them all over the years. But my mom keeps saying that she wants another one because she's been craving fondue. I mean, melted cheese, what could go wrong? So I got that in preparation for when we find our our enameled 70s fondue pot. Then um, the volunteer there, I heard her over, I, I overheard her telling someone that some gift shop had closed down. So I actually picked up a few things. These were like, I think like two, $2 each or something. I got that for myself. I thought it was so pretty. It's almost like a mother of pearl back really really pretty it's gans the price on there was 10.49 and then I got this for my best friend who is um, also an attorney and it's a b her initial with a little diamond and the price on that was 11.99 so that was two or three dollars then i thought this was really cute uh 75 cents my pills and it's pink and shiny. It's Miamica. So this is for me. And inside it's got the box. Now I was like, what is this? What is this? Is it missing one? But it it's not because it has, I had to like go over the days multiple times because I'm slow. And I'm like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, they're even numbered one through seven. So they're all there. That's just an extra. But yeah, 75 cents. And it's so diva-esque and all me. And I love it. Then these next things, I think were a dollar each. So I got these. They're original Japanese with English subtitles. Um, the resale on them was not good, which I was surprised. It might be a this might be a bootleg. The art looks a little fuzzy, but it could be fine. But anyway, I got it to um, put in one of my friend's uh, 
second Christmas packages because I forgot stuff in the first one. But this is for her son. And I think he'll he'll like that because that's that's pretty cool. So I got that. Leave that aside for the package. And he also had this on his Amazon wish list. So this is brand new, fully sealed. It is from Amazon. Uh, Two dollars. It's one of the LED finger gloves, and it's uh, a pair. So you got two of them in there. Then I don't remember. Let's find out together. Oh yeah, this is for me. Um, their mugs, their mugs are either two for a dollar or four for a dollar. I can't remember. But anyway, I got that for me. Isn't that so pretty? And it's got the flag there. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. So that's for me. See this too? I bought this for myself as a Christmas birthday present. It says my name in Greek. I love it. I've always wanted one. Okay. Then. Oh, this is a whole set. And um, it's Dover Stone made in England. It's a sugar bowl, a creamer, and three two finger mugs. And it was $4 for the whole set. Let's see if I can find a mug and show you. The resale on it was good. That's what I got that for. I don't want to unwrap everything, so let me find a mug. Here's one. That's what the mugs look like. So three of those, sugar bowl and creamer. All Doverstone, England. $4, good resale. Then I got this for resale also. Um, it looks vintage -y to me, 80s, maybe 70s, and I think she charged me 25 cents. It's one of the wraparound bracelets. What do you guys think? 70s, 80s, right? I think so. So I thought that was really fun, especially for 25 cents. So that will be for resale. It looks like we are going to move over to the barn again. This was $2. It's an Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, it, is it dated? No, but it's made in the USA. And uh, believe it or not, Little Man has never had an Etch-a-Sketch. So now he does, uh, $2, but $2 Etch-a-Sketch. Then this is for resale. I believe this was a dollar, maybe two. Goodfellas, VHS, sealed, hype sticker, resale. Then I think this was a dollar. All their Christmas stuff was down to a dollar, although they had had it for three at one point. Walt Disney Productions, it's just a hard plastic. That looks, I don't know, 70s or 80s to me as well. Then I got this for me. And then the funny thing is I actually saw another one at another thrift shop two days ago. And I'm like, oh, that's like what I bought. So uh, it, it must be kind of popular, maybe a part of something, I'm not sure. But I thought it was pretty to just add to my Christmas collection. I don't know if it's picking up, but it is iridescent, like, you know, kind of carnival glass. And it's just this little tree. If you know anything, let me know. There you can see the iridescence a little better, but a little glass tree and it's empty there. But again, it, it might have been a lid to something. But that's for me. I think it's pretty, so I don't care. And also for resale, I think this was three. This was three dollars. This is has the tags on it still. It is a nineteen eighty four Xavier Roberts. Cabbage Patch ceramic. 
figure. Uh, next, for just one second, we're going to jump over to the To Give Kids Hope again. If you saw the first part of this from that dollar toy sale day, this was a dollar. And I actually got it to put downstairs in the playroom. I thought it was really cute. And I think little man's going to freak. It's a little crane machine. <laughs> I hope it works. Uh, it was a dollar, you know, whatever. I now, side note, in addition to my UV light to check for uranium glass, I got from Amazon a little keychain that has a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. It just goes on your keys so that I can open battery compartments to check for corrosion. It took me a while, but now I have it. But that was, this was before that. So pray for the best. Next, we are moving over to Island Thrift. They had a big sale on Friday that my mom and I actually marked on our calendars that anything of, of most colors, there were some exceptions, priced up to, up to and including $18.99 will ring up at the register for $2.99. So we hit it, we got some pretty good stuff. The one qualm suggestion that I have for that sale was that if the item was $2.99 of those included colors, it was $2.99, which if you wait probably till Sunday, it's gonna be half price. So you can get it cheaper. Like, I just feel like they should have done $2.99 half price. $3.99 can still be $2.99. That's still a deal. Great. But like $2.99 was still, there was no change. So I had to put a few things back because anyway, it's my, it's my own, my own issues. <laughs> but other than that, I got, we got some pretty amazing stuff for $2.99. So let me show you what I got. My mom got some amazing stuff too, but she has it at her house, but I'll show you my stuff. The first thing I got was not part of the sale because yellow was not. So this was $2.99, full price. And it is a Beauty and the Beast bear in his ballroom suit. And uh, the resale on this was pretty good. So I picked him up for $2.99. And one more plush I picked up at full price was this guy for $1.99. And it's a little beautiful, soft, furry pig via heart 2017 tiger tail toys. Then also for resale, I got this purse. It is a hundred percent cotton still has the original price thing on there. Uh, made in India. It is KC Malhan. I don't know. It's like brand new. And the resale on these was pretty good. 25 up to 30. Priced at $10.99. I got that for $2.99. Then for myself, I got this Michael Kors beanie. And it was priced at $5.99, but I got it for $2.99. Then for myself, I got this cute little kind of cardigan. It's a really pretty pink pockets. The one thing I wasn't sure about is that seam, you know, that almost makes it look like you have it on inside out. <laughs> but it's cute and I don't have too much of this color. So priced at $8.99, but $2.99. Then this is for resale. I don't know what it is, what it was used for. Maybe someone can help me. I'm not sure. $2.99, $2.99. This is one I decided to get anyway um, because I, I thought it was like unique enough. So it's this like 70s fabric. I'm thinking 70s. What do you guys think? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I believe, no, it's close. It's, it's all closed. There's no like curtain rod opening, but someone put velcro periodically here some go 
horizontally some go vertically uh it can i don't i don't know i don't know what is happening but yeah but i figure the velcro can be taken off and uh just used as a fabric panel or a curtain with the ring and clips you know those ones so 2.99 that's for resale that is fantastic fills my heart with joy and I feel like it'll do the same for someone else. That's awesome. I had to have that. Then I got a couple of kind of like kimono and cover up things. So this was normally $6.99, but part of the $2.99 sale. And this is a, a shorter one, a good length, regular like kind of shirt length, but it covers the butt, like a three quarter cuffed sleeve. <clears throat> and no closures, just open. And I thought that was really cute. You could wear that with a tank top and some jean shorts, like really cute. And then this is a longer one with like, um, what do they call that sleeve? Like a a prairie sleeve or pilgrim sleeve or something. I can't remember what it's called. It's got that flare sleeve, which I, I don't like too much, but anyway. Buttons are super cute. They're little gemstones. So that was normally $8.99, $2.99 part of the sale. And this is a long one. But it would make a cute beach cover up if it's not too hot. But, you know, it's flared. Then I got this for myself for Greece when it's like 103 degrees. $6.99, but $2.99, part of the sale. It's just a little, and this is from, I don't know if that's a thing. A really cute, light, short, airy, lace back. If it's, I tried it on, but if it ends up being like too, too short, I'll just wear some shorts with it. And then I got this for myself. It has a belt, but I'm going to take the belt off. So this is, this is Walmart. Um, $8.99, but $2.99. And it's a, it's a black sweater. There's the sleeve end there. Really cute. And it's a cowl neck. A nice big one, which I like. But yeah, it's got a, it's got a belt to wear as like a sweater dress type thing, I guess. But I'll just cut those little, the belt loops are just like thread, you know, just cut them off, no problem. So $2.99 for that. Then I got little man some stuff. I got him these, these, these say school issue. So they're uniform shoes, so cute. But I got them for dress shoes. So <clears throat> $6.99, but part of the sale, so $2.99. These were full price at $4.99. They're floor shine, blue suede shoes, because his current blue suede shoes have gotten too small. And I love blue suede shoes. So $4.99, great price. And I got him these little slippers. These were part of the sale. So instead of $5.99, $2.99. And they are these little fuzzy lion slippers that velcro on nice and tightly they're like brand new so yeah and also for me but $2.99 it's just this really pretty black tank top I'm thinking grease with some jean shorts and another one but $2.99 for Greece. Then for resale, I looked this up and the resale was pretty good. So $12.99, but part of the sale, so $2.99. It's got a really pretty, almost herringbone chain handle. And it's like a faux uh crocodile right that's what that is alligator whatever 
gold accents here. Some wear at the bottom, but uh, Ashriel, made in Hong Kong. So it is, it's probably 80s. And uh, the resale was pretty good. So for $2.99, that's for resale. Really cool, really cool and vintage. I like it. Then also for resale, and I can't find this anywhere, <laughs> $3.99, but $2.99. It is an embroidered New York Post pillowcase that has a card in there that says rest easy the new york post has put your nys due diligence to bed i don't know and that's probably the original closure sticker because that makes sense i don't know but i looked all over the internet and couldn't find this I, maybe i wasn't doing i don't know i did new york post promo pillowcase, New York Post, embroidered logo, you know, promotional pillowcase, nothing. Uh, crazy though. I thought it was cool. All right, guys, uh, it's getting up there again and I still have a lot more stuff. So I didn't misjudge the first one. This one is too long too. So we're going to have to do a part three. So stay tuned for part three. If you like these sorts of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. Touch it, it's free. And uh, and you won't miss any of, of the stuff I, I upload. So I have one more thrift store haul to film and a Dollar Tree haul to film, which I was hoping to do today. But if I gotta do three thrift store hauls, I don't think so, guys. I got plans today. So anyway, let me go. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.